YouTube, what's going on? Got a nice size box and a little, uh, excuse my trash on the floor. You ain't supposed to see that anyway. Nice size box and a little envelope. Um, I'm going to do the box first. Already cut open. You know, one handed thing. Makes it easier. I know y'all getting tired. Every like couple of days I throw a video on here. But I try to. I'm trying to get my subscription count up. I'm not going to do a full 100. So I try to keep doing things to get different viewers, hopefully, to see what I'm doing. Instead of doing the same thing every time. Well, I kind of sort of do the same thing every time. But some people strictly do like one type of thing and expect to get more subscribers. I try to show different things that I do to my stuff, different things that I might buy for it. I'm big on bodies and appearance. So I try to get my bodies, little paint jobs or whatever. I try to do a little something different. Not too much, but a little something different. I like to try to get my subscribers up. Anyway, this is from ProLine. This is a new body they just released this year. I'm not sure how long ago, but this year for sure. This is with a slash 4x4. It's the... 2013 Ram 1500 True Scale Clear Body. It's for the Pro 2 SC. I think that's ProLine's RC truck. The slash and the slash 4x4. Oh, and the SC10. Okay, SC10 people. Y'all can cop this too. Ram related locals, model. Uh, that's that trademark stuff. Anyway, go to their website if you want to see what this is. I'm not sponsored by them. I just try to let y'all know things that I get and where I got them from. But this is the Pro Line body. The Pro Line make a lot of bodies for uh, Traxxas. Like HPI make their own bodies, and they got a lot of bodies for their stuff. Traxxas don't have too many other bodies. This is the Pro Line Ram. You know my Chevy brothers. I got a GMC myself, so I didn't want the Chevy. It's too wide, honestly. Don't hate me. The Chevy bodies are wide and square and boring. I didn't want that. Only a body. I'm not talking about the real truck, fellas. Only the bodies. I don't like them. The Rams look husky to me. Never owned a Ram. I don't have a Ram. But the Ram trucks look husky to me. That's why I got it for looks. Ford F-150. I already got a body that on. Look at my old videos. I have my snow chains with the F-150 body on my Summit. The F-150 had the... Um, they look pretty husky, too. I might get a Chevy body later on, but I saw this on there, had to have it. Right now, you pretty much ain't you look pretty much ain't saying nothing because it's a clear body, but it's the Proline Dodge for 200 Ram. Haven't seen it on YouTube painted yet. Don't claim to be the first one with it. I just haven't seen anybody with it yet, and I got a nice idea for it. So it's gonna take me a little minute to get that painted up right. Hopefully, I don't get lazy and try to skip. Some ideas. The next package right here. Y'all already know. Some of y'all should know. This is from GG. GGJ Fly Guy. And I'm not going to show you everything that's in here. Because that's for my RAM body. So y'all need to know all that that I'm going to do to it. But the good brother threw some extras in here. That's, you know, a little surprising. Okay, make sure my, my other stuff didn't come out. Y'all don't need to see that. Y'all not going to see that. But GGJ threw me some extra um, decals. I ordered Several times from the brother. So the brother hooked me up this time. Doing a few, uh, a few, free, a few free things. So he's about to inspire me to do another drift body. What are you doing? This is Kiyoshi. Another dragon upside down. So he about to, he about to mess around with me to do another drift body. And the brother threw on some plates for me. That's what's up. On the left is one eighth scale. On the right, one tenth scale. Just got a, these are stickers. Just got a, um, she put me a little note in there too. But the note between me and him right now. So he wanted to let y'all know what's, what's up with it. he holler at y'all himself. But one eighth scale, one tenth scale. Brother hooked me up. Yes, I bought a, I made a few orders from him before. So the brother looked out. GGJ, good looking out, homie. We'll do business again. But uh, that's it for now. My slash, I'm still waiting for those MIPs. I went with the MIP 
still dog bones. I wasn't do the aluminum, but they say aluminum is rated for 2S. They actually tell you that in the packaging online. Well, online anyway, I didn't get the package yet. But the aluminum ones are rated for 2S. Now, I might want to throw a 3 in there. Or I might change up my motor. So, I went on with the still dog bones. I didn't get these, uh, the spline ones, which I probably should have got. But if the dog bones don't work out, I'll get the spline later. But this weekend, hopefully tomorrow after work, I'll start on that Dodge body. Start on it. It's going to take me a couple days. So I'm going to do a lot of masking with this plus my uh, painter's tape. So I want to you know, hook it up real nice. So it's a scale body. I might have to make another Trello. I had a Trello. Look at my previous videos. I got a Trello already that I made, I think, last summer. But that's like a one-tenth scale Trello. I put it behind my slash. It's too small. I got to look to scale, so I got to make a bigger Trello. So that's going to take me a good minute. I got to figure out how I'm going to do it. It's going to be a simple trailer, but I got to figure out how I'm going to do it. But um, I need something to pull that trailer with. So I can put my bandit on the back of the trailer. So I might put my one of my one, one, um, my Ken Block or one of my uh, Sprinter Fluxes, one temp scales on there. We'll see. But that's it for now. GGJ, fly guy. Good looking out, homie. Till the next time. Peace.